In this tutorial, we'll create a custom rule that allows content editors to maximize personalization capability. Welcome to the tutorial on how to create a custom rule that can be used by content editors to personalize content in Sidecore. During this tutorial, we'll create a custom rule that will check if the previous page is the page we specified in the condition and we'll apply it to the RT module to see how it works. First, we need to create a class in Visual Studio Solution and then we'll assign this class to the condition in Sidecore. So let's open up Visual Studio and create the class first. I'm going to create a new class under CMS Personalization Rules. I need to inherit from when condition where t is rule context. I need to add a new property, page ID, override execute function, check if the tracker is not null, and simply check if the previous page item ID is equal to the page ID. Now let's move to Sidecore and we need to create a tag below Sidecore system settings, rules, definitions, and tags. We need to assign this tag to the conditional renderings default item under Sidecore system settings, rules, conditional renderings, tags, and default. We need to create a new folder for our custom rules under Sidecore system settings, rules, definitions, elements. I will call it PWE and I will assign the same tag to the default item tags section. And finally, I will create a new custom condition previous page is. We need to specify the text that will be displayed when content editors search for this condition and we are passing page ID this is the property we've added to the class. It will be a tree list, and we want the root of this list to be set to Sidecore content. The last part, the word specific, will be displayed as a link when a content editor selects this rule, and it will allow content editors to select the page from the list. We need to specify the type. It is our custom rule class we've created, and now we can use it to personalize content. I have two data sources that I created earlier. I will add the RTE module to the About Us page and I will personalize it so it displays data source 1 if the previous page is the home page and data source 2 for everything else. We need to select Personalize, set a default data source to the data source 2, add a new rule we need to search for the rule that we've created and select the home page and click OK. We need to set a data source for this rule to data source 1 and click OK. Now, if we go directly to the About Us page, data source 2 is displayed. And if we go to the home page first, then data source 1 will be displayed. As you've seen, creating custom rules can be very powerful. Content editors and the strategy teams can create a number of different versions of the page based on the user's interactions that allows them to keep users engaged. I hope you found this interesting and it will allow you to customize personalization to your client's requirements and I see you next time.